Wait a second. Has my camera been on this entire time? Oh my god. I bet it was you, shiny Cassandra. Uh, well, nonetheless, let's begin by charging up the battery and starting off this video. Yellow, how's it going everyone? Larger the 60 here, back with another video. Finally, after almost two months of being gone, I truly apologize for the delay in the videos. All right, we open up the game and we have a couple of new Pokemon that I don't think I caught with you guys on the channel yet. I really don't know. Might as well check the shelter and the shop bit because you just never know if they're going to be shiny. No. I don't think I have though because these are fairly new Pokemon and I don't think I've actually caught these on screen for you guys. So we do have a lot of new Pokemon. We've been getting some new Pokemon since the Sinnoh celebration. I think I have caught these for you. Maybe scrap that. But today's video, and I hope you guys really do enjoy it, is going to be more of like a test of like myself again, trying to make the videos and sort of formatting it how I want to. And we're going to be focusing on the Easter event. No, the Makuja is not shiny. I get distracted very easily. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the Easter event. So this entails a lot of new shinies. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them all. I can't. I can't guarantee them. There's Togepi. There's Baneri, but they all have costumes. Pichu, Pikachu. I don't know why I said Pikachu like that. You guys can laugh at me if you want to. It's all good. Um, there's a lot in this event, and there's a lot of shinies that I still need personally. A lot of shinies in the event. So hopefully it's gonna be a really good one. But what we're gonna do is I thought I'd start my video before the event starts because I'm going to be starting right at 8 o'clock in the morning and I am dating it as well again. I love dating the videos. So today it is Wednesday and it's going to be Thursday when the event starts. So I want to record it then and this video is going to come live on the Sunday, Easter Sunday. Get it? Because, you know, I'm uh, coming back from the dead, you know, as the YouTube channel. Ha ha ha. I am hilarious. So, what fitting evolution to do than a sarcophagus? You know, it just makes so much sense. We got it going in the Pokedex. There we go. Beautiful. Woo! And it's a 93. So, not the best one, but oh wow. Almost a 360 as well. But there we go. We've got a new Pokedex entry to start the video. Um, you know what? Let's evolve. Let's evolve this high one as well. There we go. So we're gonna evolve that one. And we're gonna put that into the Pokedex as well. Because we just evolved one, so we might as well do another one. Why not? This is gonna be nice to have two coffins, you know? Just in the Pokedex. Beautiful. There we go. I never evolved this during the event, so it's nice to finally have it registered. And it makes sense. I'm going to try and do one evolution, new evolution, per video. So that's your, uh, your evolution for the video. And I think that's a good time to cut to uh, the morning. So let's head off, let's hunt, and let's see what we can find through this event. You guys are ready? Let's get going. All right, so I woke up a little late, and it's 9 o'clock, not 8 o'clock. So we're going to start with some hatches. First one's a church wig. And these are going to be old eggs. To delivery of hatching the old egg before the new event starts so that then I can get the new eggs and I can start hatching those for you guys. So I'm going to cut to each Pokemon when they hatches and we're going to see what we get. Just a little quick uh, one, two, and then we're going to start going. So got another Piplup here. Yeah, not bad. What else we got? Venipede. Eh, not bad. Snivy. Can you be a Hundo Snivy? Probably not. No. Another Snivy. Oh my gosh. Tire. Oh! <laughs> well, there's the hundo I was asking for. Oh, start that bad boy for when Snivy Community comes around. Wow. Lucky me. And the next one's gonna be a Pat Rat. And I think this is the last one. So let me just check Davies. No. And. Yeah, that's it. 
So, I did want to catch you one of those um, Baneeris while I was with you, but it looks like not. And we got three more eggs out to hatch. So I'm going to get some more eggs. We're going to get to a Baneeri, hopefully a Baneeri and a Pikachu. And once we're ready, let's, uh, let's get going and let's see if we can find something good. Not even five minutes into the hunt and we already have a wild Chansey. Please! And that's going to be the Execute. Not shiny, but please! I don't have shiny Chansey yet. No! Okay, we're gonna catch in a second, but check the Baneri. And we're gonna catch that as well because it's our first one. It's cute. I like the fact that it has a flower crown on it. As much as people hate the idea of like costume Pokemon still, this one is cute. I'll give it that. I'm not a fan of costume Pokemon, even though I do love myself my party hat Wurmple. Yes, I'm a victim of party hat Wurmple-ism. I'm gonna make that a thing. Okay, and there we go. We got the Chansey. We're gonna hopefully catch in this ball, please. No, we're not. Okay, let's uh, let's get greedy. Let's get the pineapple berry on it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, got a great, got a curveball. Let's see if we can catch it. No, not again, no. All right, so we're gonna try one more time because I'm greedy. I don't even need the candies. I'm just going for the candies because I felt like it. Oh boy, there we go. Please, yes, we got the Chansey. Also, I forgot to mention in my last clip that the eggs are gonna hatch ridiculously fast. So I'll come back for one batch of eggs, but I'm not gonna react, react to every single batch because there's gonna be way too many times I have to stop and record. So we got eggs hatching in literally 0.4 kilometers. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back just once for that, and then we're gonna just go riding, see if we can find. If I find a shiny, if I hatch a shiny, I'll bring you guys back for it, all right? All right, we're taking a quick five second breather here because we've got some eggs going. Oh, 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 wait, wait, that happened so fast. What was that? So I guess they have a new animation when they, oh, 5K, Blech. old egg. They have a new animation when they hatch with a costume? That's so cool! I think that's awesome. Well, that also proves that they're gonna keep doing this, whether we like it or not. Also, a fossil egg. Let's see what we got from that. A little leap. Nothing fancy, eh? That's all right. It's not a hundo either, so it's gonna go into the trash bag. Bye-bye. And I think we have two more, a few more eggs going. I don't know how many eggs we're going, so. We're just gonna keep hatching until, you know, it happens. Riolu, there we go. We got a Riolu hatch. 540, not great, it's 12, 12, 12. Ah, oh, I can do better, but Riolu candy is always welcome because I still haven't powered up one yet. I'm waiting for that shiny. Togepi again, and that animation. Oh, it's like it's dressing up for you right when it hatches. That's cute. 361, not good IVs. Let's see what the next one's gonna be. We got a couple more eggs hopefully hatching. Let's see what we're gonna get. Tyrogue! Yeah, not shiny yet, but still. Tyrogues are always welcome. Also, because I do have a Hundo one, should I evolve it or should I keep it a Tyrogue? Because it can evolve into anything. It can evolve into one of the three. Another Riolu! Oh, these Riolu hatches are sweet! That one's worse, yep. All right. Oh my gosh, and a 10k. Oh, imagine. Gibble? That'd make this the best hatching spree ever. Really? Really? Some of my viewers know how much I despise throw. <sighs> and I'm gonna end with a throw. I hate this game sometimes. But before I switch off into my next clip, I did forget to mention, Merrells can be shiny in the wild with Executes. So on top of the new Flower Crown Pokemon that you can get shiny, these two can also be shiny in the wild. So keep looking, because you never know what you'll find. I know I'm going to check a few more of these, and then I'm going to let you guys go to the next clip. All right, so we got this boy. Nope. We got Ghastly, randomly, just chilling. And we have one more Execute. That's uh, the gym. No, not shiny. All right, well, we did our best shot. We're gonna try and get some more eggs and then we're gonna hatch them again. And you know what time it is? Montage time. So I'll see you guys after the montage.
Well, we're back from the montage. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, silly me, you forgot to press the record button. The first Pikachu with this hat I caught, so my bad. But my honest opinion on this, it looks like something your grandma would wear, you know? You know like tourists, usually elderly people, they go, they go out to like a foreign country and then they wear these sort of like flat hats. That's what it reminds me of. And then usually, yeah, like I said, elderly people. I don't know, it just makes me laugh. It's, it's like Pikachu, uh, Pikachu is, uh, is sporting all the fashions of the ages. Or why not, right? Also, we got some themed quests. Hatch and Egg will give you, I believe, it's the Eevee with the flower crown. So I'll put, a, I'll put a screenshot of all the uh, quests right here just so you guys can see them quickly because I, there's like five of them. I know Hatch 4 is Chansey, Hatch 3 is the Alolan Executor, Hatch 5 is Audino, Hatch 2 is the Zumaro, and then I believe the Hatch 1 is the Eevee. So I've sort of memorized them already, but again, it's just started. So it'll take me some time to remember them for uh, the week to come if I haven't already. So, next clip is hopefully gonna be a shiny. Hopefully, I say, because I don't know if it's gonna be. And let's see if we can find something that'll sparkle. Let's get going. All right, so we're gonna end day one of our hunt here. And I really didn't expect what was gonna happen. So I got back from my first hunt in the morning, which you guys joined me with for a little bit. And it wasn't bad, but it got a little. It got really, really, really windy today. So I said, okay, I'm not gonna record anything else outside. I'll just finish up the hunt, come back, show you what I found, and let's just say we found a little bit, a little bit too much. Okay, and you're already gonna see from that what I got. So first one is shiny Skarmory, little nest by my house there. That second one that I found back there in the two weeks that it's been there pretty awesome we got the golden eggs the shiny execute and that one actually is really high in cp so i might evolve that probably next video i don't know if i want to this video because it's very nice right now and i just love the look of it we got our 10th shiny shelter and yes there's some con yacht on it that we did get the shiny shelter and i beat you that was just a joke. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> a shiny shelter. It was just a joke me and him had going that we were going to see who gets the 10 shelters first. And there you go. My 10th one ever. And we got the shiny Riolu. And yes, I have shiny Lucario plushie in my hand. This is awesome. And I thought it would take me to the end of the event not to get. And I got it the first day. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we found it. And we also got a couple hundos today. So, you know, got the hundo Snivy. And then from our research, we got Executor. Alolan Executor. I'm not going to say no to it, but it's just, what am I going to do with it? Like, it's it's cool. Like, I got that, and then I have the Alolan Digga from before I started the videos again. That's a hundo. Like, it's it's cool to get the Alolan's hundo. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. I checked out these guys so they're not shiny and I think it's gonna be it for the hunting portion of this video Well, I didn't expect to be back here with you guys close to the video But a couple things happened two days after I did that filming that I just kind of have to show you guys because this event is crazy. So, future Lord Ruther 60 here, and I'm bringing you an update on first the four stars, the hundos. We have the hundo Happini, so I could make a hundo Blissey and max it out, but I feel like it's harder to get the 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 Happini, like the baby hundo. So we're gonna keep that like that. What am I gonna do with this though? A hundo Togepi the Flower Crown that I cannot evolve. That's unfortunate. And we hatched another Tyrogue hundo. So, funny enough, I asked that question in the video. And now I have to sort of... Okay, I have two. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. We're going to keep those like that. And we also got two more shinies. We got another Riolu. 
and another execute. So we finished both families. I didn't have either of them to start this video and to end this video I'm going to have both of them done. So I think this means I'm going to evolve this uh, golden eggs into a golden pineapple because that's what it looks like. It is awesome. So here it goes into the box. I know I said Pokedex at the beginning of the video. It was already the Pokedex the second time. Look at that! Oh, I've waited so long to see that in the game. That is awesome. And it's still the same. That is actually really good in a CP, so I might, I might just max it out for the fun of it. But now you've graduated into the Golden Pineapple! I'm gonna... Golden Pineapple. Yeah, that fits. You're the Golden Pineapple! So, now, one more check. Nope. We're gonna give it back to past Lord360 to wrap up the video and to deliver one important message. Um, so now I just want to address just a couple of things about me hunting because I know a lot of people are going to be asking after this video goes up how and why I'm still doing this and why I started the videos and honestly I go up for a bike ride at least once or twice a day and I know the biggest concern is I know parks are closed and um, you know social distancing and making sure that you stay you keep your distance away from people and what I usually do is I go by like the main routes like the main roads and I take the trails so technically I'm not really going into the park still and I keep my distance when I go by people so like if it's a narrow path I make sure I let them go first or if it's a big path I usually say, excuse me, please, and they go to one side, I go to the other. I keep my distance because I know this whole pandemic situation is a very big concern to the world. And I just want to do my part in making sure that I don't help with the spread of this. So I still want to bring you guys stuff. And I know this time is going to be a little interesting in that fact because GoFests are cancelled, Safari Zones are cancelled, and I actually have a ticket for the Philadelphia one. So... Shiny Voltor, but Mr. Mime, I will be hunting that like crazy. Hopefully we had a nice sunny day, not a windy day, because I want to record that for you guys. And I don't really know what I'm going to do for that yet. I have to decide what I want to do in terms of video, because, yeah, Philadelphia and Brampton, it's going to be really, really weird to do a Safari Zone remotely. But at least I can bring you guys that. Maybe I'll go biking around like I did this time and make a proper video, because this video was kind of lacking a bit. But, hey... We'll work it out. So, I'm staying safe. I want you guys all to know that. And I'm really happy to bring this back to you guys. Because I do like making the videos for you guys. And I just want you to know that I'm staying safe. I'm healthy. And, you know, all is well. So, I'm going to leave you guys with one question. And the question for you is... How are you looking at the quarantine? Are you liking it? Are you hating it? Are you staying safe? That's my big question for you today. So I'll try and do a question a day as well on each video to see, um, you know, just something interesting, something different. And yeah, that's going to end the video. I was going to make it two days worth of hunting, but I didn't think I was going to find so much in the first day. So it kind of gives me more time to edit this one properly so that then the next video can be either a fun video or another video of the Easter event if I find some more shinies and I feel like, you know, I want to hunt some more and I want to find you guys some more shinies. So, we're going to end this right. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to boom, hit the like button, click the red button down below to subscribe to the, the channel, hit bell beside it, so you're notified when I put in a new video. I've been Lord360 and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.